Um, so, kia ora, my name's Lucy. Um, on my dad's side, I'm Ngāta Ranganui from the Bay of Pliny. Um, my dahi is my hapu, and mum's side, they're um, mostly Scottish from Greymouth. <laughs> yeah, so I'm an, a master's student now, so I did my honours with the NZAVS, and I thought I'd talk about my honours project today. One of the really interesting findings was that ethnicity uh, significantly predicted value for the environment. Um, in particular, Māori expressed higher levels of regard for the environment. And so I followed this up with a um, culturally specific measure of Māori identity um, to try and tap into the, the parts of Māori identity which might be um, underlying increased regard for the environment. Um, so I used the multi-dimensional model of Māori identity and cultural engagement, um, the mice, <laughs> um, to see uh, what might be underlying increased regard for the environment among Māori, um, and found that uh, one dimension in particular was really um, was the only strong predictor for this increased regard for the environment, um, and that was socio-political consciousness. Um, so this is the extent to which you may see um, the Treaty of Waitangi and historical injustice. The more you saw these things as directly relevant to today's society, um, the more you valued the environment. So this was really exciting, actually, <laughs> and because it means the more um, politically active you might be if you're Māori, um, the more likely you are to also really value protecting the environment, um, which has quite exciting um, implications for um, our political kind of discourses. What's really exciting about the New Zealand Attitudes and Values Study is that in a few years' time, um, we're going to have longitudinal data which will allow us to test um, how environmental values change over time um, and how these changes might um, be related to various demographic features um, or other values such as social and political consciousness. And so, yeah, I really want to emphasise how grateful I am <laughs> and the rest of the team is to our participants um, because they really allow us to test some really interesting um, and important questions which will hopefully contribute um, to a greater understanding of issues around, for example, environmental degradation.